As I am sure many of you are already aware, there was an attempt to launch a SpaceX mission from Cape Canaveral yesterday. It got scrubbed because of weather, which really seems kind of strange to me, given that they had set the launch time for 4.33 p.m. Anyone who lives here in Florida this time of year will know what I'm talking about. It's kind of a very strange dynamic to anyone who doesn't live here. In the morning, the sun shines and it gets nice and warm. It's what you would expect. And then the humidity drops in a little afternoon. And then usually by 3.30, 4 o'clock, you will see all over the state of Florida little thunderstorms pop up. And there will be lightning in places, but not in others. And then it'll go away, usually by uh, the time the sun goes down. And you'll have a nice warm evening. And it's just the same thing over and over and over again. So if what was going on yesterday with the weather was going to stop them from launching, they're going to have a hard time finding a window, at least at that time of day. Now, someone on Fox had explained that they picked that time of day so that they could have the apogee of the International Space Station be exactly where it's supposed to be when they launch this thing. Now, I don't want to get too much into that. I think there may be another explanation for why they scrubbed that launch. Because it had been a lot worse earlier in the day, and it was getting better. In fact, they had just upgraded it from a 50-50 shot to a 60-40 shot. So it was really kind of strange. Now, for those of you that haven't kept up with this, it's a very weird way of putting men into orbit or up to the space station. It's a capsule on top of a rocket reminiscent of the 60s. This thing can't land. It can splash down in the water like they did in the 60s, but it can't land like the space shuttle does. And I just wanted to show a picture from yesterday evening. As you can see, you have, of course, the anvil clouds, but that's that's normal for Florida. Florida is so flat, you can see these all over the place. Um, they are not indicative of anything out of the ordinary. And here's that capsule I was just speaking of. So for being so advanced and high-tech and all of this kind of Tesla stuff, the method they're using uh, harkens back to the uh, age of the muscle car. So, really strange, but there's been talk over the years of this thing called the Black Knight Satellite, and I wasn't sure what to believe about this until yesterday. I had gone out to my back room here and turned on the big TV and was looking for some channel to watch the launch on. And so I have a Roku TV out there, and one of the apps that you use for Roku is the NASA channel, and it has a live feed from the International Space Station. So I thought, I'll go there first. So I go there, and I turn it on, and of course it's just some nondescript shot of the Earth spinning below. And there is this very strange black dot that appears right on the horizon. Now, it wasn't there. I had turned on the channel. Everything looked normal. Went over, got something to drink, went, sat down, and looked up, and this black dot appeared. And I thought, oh, it kind of looks like this image over here to the right. I thought, well, it's a pixel. I'm either losing a TV or the, the signal is dropping or something. And with the weather being what it was, it really didn't seem strange. But then I noticed something about it, is that this black dot had a shadow on the surface of the Earth. So I quickly grabbed my camera and started recording. And I'm going to play this for you. Now, it's about a four-minute video, because NASA cut the feed. So here we go. All right. Now, this is, of course, me filming my big 65-inch TV. I just wanted to show this real quick. Showing the size of the TV. 
Here, of course, is Earth. You see this black dot right here? I have no idea what this is. Now, at this time, I'm thinking, I've got plenty of time. I can show the shadow later, but then about a minute in, I realize, you know what? If they see this, they're going to cut the feed. And they did, just like clockwork. I have no idea what this is. That they have the camera almost directly on. Now, I'm zoomed in very close. I'm going to zoom out here again in a minute. And kind of give you a, a larger picture. You can't really tell by looking down at the Earth where this is at this time. Given that it circles the Earth 16 times a day. Whatever this is, is maintaining distance from the International Space Station. Now here I am going to zoom out again. I'm just going to pause this real quick. You can see the edge of the TV here. This is my ceiling up here. And I want you to look very closely because it's kind of hard to see. I'm going to zoom in on it better later. But down here on this cloud, there is a black dot. And it is the shadow of this thing that's tracing along the Earth underneath. This thing had to be huge to cast this big of a shadow, something that get picked up from this distance. It was right there, just went off the screen. I'm going to get a shot here in a minute. It's only another, uh, not even two minutes before they cut the feed here. I'm going to get a shot of both of these so that you can see what they are. But this really looks a lot like that Black Knight satellite that they've been talking about for years. So that explanation that they had of it being some thermal blanket from some other mission back in the whenever, that would have been long gone by now. And as you can see, this stays at a constant speed, a constant altitude, a constant distance from the International Space Station. So this thing's moving, whatever it is. And for it to appear this size, it's big. I looked all over to try to find some kind of an estimation of the size of the Black Knight satellite, and I couldn't find any, not even in the wiki. Okay, so we're getting here to the end. Sorry about this. At the time, I'm not really thinking. I'm not, when I'm making this video, Okay, here it is. Now, I'm going to pause this and move the camera a little bit so you know what to look for. Do you see this dark dot up here? I'm circling. Watch this. And then right here is a smaller dot. Okay, I'm going to play this forward. And as you can see, they are running. This is a shadow. Here and here. I'm going to pull out here and get them both in the screen. And you can see, by the way, that this fluctuates, that it's a shadow. Okay, there, I've got them both in the same shot. There's the original thing here. There's the shadow of it here, and then there's a smaller shadow down here. And in literally less than 30 seconds, they're going to cut the feed.
I think they realized that they were following something. And that's where they cut the feed. I'm going to jump back about 30 seconds here and play that last part. As you can see, way over here to the left, that's the actual thing in orbit, and down here is the shadow that it's throwing. I wonder if this had more to do with that cancellation than the weather did. Because the weather wasn't great, but it wasn't that horrible, and it was getting better. One more time. Here's the shadow. And like I said, for you to be able to see this shadow and this thing in the same shot, this thing would have had to have been massive. And there's a much smaller one down here. Much more difficult to see. So anyway, I will leave that there. Um, but very strange events in Florida. We'll have to see Saturday if they have the ability to get this thing off the ground. But I will uh, see if I can put that video up on Google Drive. And then you can download it. And you can watch the video for yourself. Like I said, at the time, I wasn't even planning on doing a video about it. I was just sitting there in my living room watching some feed. And then this thing appeared. And it didn't even strike me as strange right away. I didn't have the camera on the entire time to show when it appeared because it wasn't there initially because I just wasn't thinking about doing a video at the time. And then the thing appeared and then I thought it was a pixel or I thought it was something wrong with the TV or something wrong with the signal. Sometimes you just got to get the footage you can get. So anyway, I will leave it there. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time.